James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is June 25th, 2023. Noon Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, Noah says that we had a minor geomagnetic storm last night. But, of course, I already showed you that in last night's Space Weather Update. Quote, Minor geomagnetic storm, solar wind and plasma data suggested a chronal mass ejection passed close to Earth on June 24th around 1900 UTC time. The near miss opened a crack in Earth's magnetosphere and sparked a minor G1 class geomagnetic storm. This could be the CME from last Tuesday's X1 flare. Noah, that sounds a little far-fetched. That was over four and a half days ago. And, ladies and gentlemen, it was an X-flare, which usually means the speed of the solar winds and plasma is much faster. But, let's continue. They did say in the release today that this actually opened a crack in Earth's magnetosphere. This is a NASA artist rendition of a satellite flying through a crack in Earth's magnetic field. Because obviously they can't take a real picture of one. That would mean there was a satellite up there. Quote, we've discovered that our magnetic shield is drafty like a house with a window stuck open during a storm, says Harold Frey of the University of California, Berkeley, lead author of a paper on this research published December 4th in Nature magazine. The house deflects most of the storm, but the couch is ruined. Similarly, our magnetic shield takes the brunt of the space storm, but some energy slips through this crack sometimes enough to cause problems with satellites, radio communications, and even our power system. This is the artist rendition that NASA provided today. God bless you and yours, folks. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.